All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are gonna be talking about the latest data download on Global and see everything that was added to the uh, Global database. Okay, so of course, a big shout out to my boy, Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. And starting from the top here, we have the untranslated assets for the Int Demigra, as well as Fizz Final Form Mira Dokkan Awakenings. So. This is for Int Demigra right here, along with his transformed or giant form, I think. I don't really know. I'm not too familiar with the uh, Xenoverse characters, but that's Demigra right there. And then we have Final Form Mira as well. Now, the Token Awakening assets for uh, Tektoa were actually added to the global database with the last data download, but that was because she was in the uh, new story event, right? And once again, all three of these Awakenings are currently untranslated, so even though they're in the database, they're not ready to be released yet, and uh, they probably won't be coming out for this celebration, possibly within the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. We'll have to see. Okay, so that's uh, Toa, or sorry, Demigra and Mira's Awakening Assets. And then we have the updated logo or effects for these universe characters. So this one's, of course, for Toa. This one's for Mira, and I think there should be one for Demigra as well, but it's not listed here. But either way, um, it looks like there's a new logo on these cards now, just like for the Heroes units, for the fi Fighters units, and uh, so on and so forth, Fusions, and I think that might be it. Anyways, uh, that's the logo, and after, we have the assets for the translated assets for the Lord Slug Extreme Z Awakening, and also the Kaoken Goku Extremes. Or maybe just Lord Slug. I think Kaoken Goku might have been added to the game already, so this is for uh, Tech Lord Slug. And uh, yeah, there you go, got his super attack, his uh, quotes, his card art, effects, all that good stuff. And from there, we have the translated assets for Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly's Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awakening. So that's the logo. There's his voice line, or not voice line, sorry, uh, his super attack quote. And uh, there's a couple forms of, oh, this is basically going to be the, the, the boss in the event, right? When you go through the stages of the Extreme Z battle. And uh, here are his Extreme Z battle medals, silver, or sorry, bronze, silver. Yo, my mind is all over the place right now. Uh, bronze, silver, gold, and rainbow. Event will be dropping in approximately, uh, let me think approximately like 10 11 hours from now so very very soon i'll try to be live as soon as the event drops no guarantees though because um, i might be busy tonight but either way within the next like 24 hours we will be doing a stream for the broly extreme z battle so definitely look forward to that and uh, we have the extreme z awakening medals for the kao ken goku and uh, the tech lord slug now we will be going go, going over the details for uh, both these EZAs as well as the Broly EZA in a second. And uh, they're all three of them are excellent. These two for free to play units are, you know, very impressive Extreme Z Awakenings. But uh, I know some people are not going to be that, you know, tempted to do Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z Area Grinds for free to play units. But one thing to keep in mind is that both of these units need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened. The Kaoken Goku and the Lord Slug need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened and Rainbowed in order to challenge the. Um, Prime Battle LR Super Saiyan Goku's Extreme Z area when that drops. So if you guys are looking forward to Extreme Z Awakening the Prime Battle Goku, then you have to get these two done as well, okay? And uh, of course we have the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival tickets for uh, the Broly banner, the Super Saiyan 3 Broly banner. And that is pretty much it guys. Let me see if I missed anything from uh, Proton here. I don't think so though. Um, Int Demigra, Phase Final Form Mira, not translated, updated logo for Xenoverse units, translated Tech Lord Slug, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly's Extreme Z Battle Assets, and finally the um, Z Area Lord Slug Assets as well. So there you have it, that was the data download, and now before we go, let's quickly check out the details for the Kaoken Goku EZA, Lord Slug EZA, and Super Saiyan 3 Broly EZA. So starting with Kaoken Goku, his leader skill post Extreme Z Awakening is going to be Pure Saiyan's Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or STR Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack greatly raises attack, causes supreme damage, 
and passive is attack and defense plus 77%. E plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when HP is 77% or less, plus an additional attack was 33%, and high chance of performing a critical hit when Piccolo is on the team. So of course this part, greatly raising attack, is 50% for 99 turns, so essentially infinitely stacking. And um, yeah, I mean overall just a very good free-to-play unit after Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, links on the family, Saint Linear, Z Fighter, Shocking Speed over in a Flash, Out of the Limit. And categories are Pure Saints, Full Power uh, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Final Trump Card, and Desperate Struggle. And his stats post Extreme Z Awakening 13,898 attack, 11,974 HP, and 8,338 defense. So that's the Kaioken Goku. And for Lord Slug, his leader skill is going to be Namekian's category, Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or tech types, Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack supreme damage, lowers defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and passive is Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 100%, raises attack and defense by up to 30%, the more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when facing two or more enemies, and recovers 30% HP, whatever HP is 30% or less. So, yeah, Lord Slug is pretty awesome too, especially, once again, for a free-to-play unit. And uh, his links are Namekians, Nightmare, Metamorphoses, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Demonic Ways, and Shattering the Limit. Categories are Movie Bosses, Namekians, Dragon Ball Seekers, Terrifying Conquerors, and Inhuman Deeds. And opposed Extreme Z Awakening, he gets up to 12,065 attack, which is a little bit low, but still not bad, especially for a free-to-play unit. 15,130 HP and 10,031 defense. That's actually amazing. So that's Lord Slug. And finally, we have Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I already went over this in my, uh, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Broly easy preview video from, I think, yesterday. But uh, for anybody that missed that video, we're going to quickly go, go over this as well. Leader skill is Extreme Tech Types, Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Super Tech Types, Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, Super Attack, Immense Damage, Massively Lowers Defense, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 120%, plus an additional Attack plus 12%, but Defense minus 6% per Key Sphere obtained. Medium chance of launching an additional Super Attack with 3 or more Tech Key Spheres obtained. Link skills, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, Super Saiyan, Nightmare, uh, Limit Breaking Form, Fierce Battle. And categories are Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, and Crossover. And uh, his uh, stats after EZA, 19,683 uh, attack, 17,556 HP, and 11,162 defense. Obviously all at rainbow status. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, in my opinion, is still a very good Extreme Z Awakening. Just um, could have been better. It could have been better. Uh, I don't love the fact that he still kept his debuff, like his lowering defense per key sphere, even though it's less, even though he starts off with some defense now. So the effect here is not as significant. It doesn't hurt him as much. It still uh, takes away quite a bit of his defense, right? So it's unfortunate. Um, he hits really hard. He hits really, really hard. But I, I feel like they could have done what, like, gone without this or at least made it like two three percent or something like that i don't really know right like i don't design the cards but i feel like they could have made this better without making him broken you know so um it is what it is super saiyan 3 broly's extreme z awakening is dropping once again in about 10 hours from the time this video comes out and uh, the lord slug and goku i think are dropping a little bit earlier than that maybe in like six or seven hours i'm not 100 percent sure but i think it's a little bit earlier or it could be the same time either way they're all coming out um, relatively soon and uh, that is today's video guys that is the data download once again a big shout out to Proton10MG for uh, keeping us um, you know in the know about all the all the contents of each data download if you guys aren't following him yet then make sure to hit to hit him up with a follow on Twitter it's Proton10MG as you can see and uh, that's it guys that's all I gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.